everybody and welcome to Change Bible Study. The fullness of life. There is life, but then there is the fullness of life that we want to talk about today. And we'll find that a beginning, rather, in the book of John. John chapter 10, verse 10. But before we go there, let's pause and ask for the Lord's blessing. Father, we gather together to ask of your blessing that we might see you as you see us. And that we might find that there is more to life than meets the eye. It all starts from the inside out. And that's our prayer. We pray it in your name. Amen. John chapter 10 is a promise that the Lord Jesus Christ has given to us. The reasoning for his coming, but also the promise of his coming to us. He says the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. This is the promise. This is what we should be having if we are truly living in Christ. The idea of the fullness of life really uh, expresses itself in another verse that we don't really take in this context of the fullness of life that the Lord wants us to have. Go back with me to the book of Matthew. In Matthew, the first book of the New Testament, the chapter 5, look there with me at verse number 48. Jesus is speaking, and he says there, in Matthew 5, verse 48, Therefore, you shall be perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Sometimes when we read this, or usually when we read this, we look at this from the perspective of our characters, how we have to be perfect. We have to be at a certain level to be saved. Well, understanding now clearly that grace and God's grace through Jesus Christ, His Son, his character becomes our character. His righteousness we accept as our righteousness. We are perfect in Christ and in Christ alone. Because he's the only perfect man who's ever lived or will live. But when we understand this from the other side, the idea of perfection, here Jesus is saying, yes, the only way you can be saved is to be like me. In other words, you have to have all of me and all of you. The idea of completion or perfection. I think of it like a circle. A circle that has no gaps, no openings, but a complete closure, a completeness, a perfection. This is the life that Jesus has for all of his children. That we might be complete as he is complete. That we might have life that is full, life that is complete. I think about this in another uh, way as far as how life without Christ, there's an emptiness, there are voids, there, there, there are disjoints. And it's kind of like living life as a cream-filled pie. Cream-filled pies, by nature, are very light pies because they're basically cream with maybe some sugar and with maybe a crust, and that's it. But Jesus says, I want you to have the fullness of life. I want, the, I want you to have an apple pie experience. It just so happens, I have... <laughs> apple pie here. This is a homemade apple pie. And you know that the pie is good because you'll see there that a fraction of the pie has been sampled by the family. And I made this pie by God's grace. And this is an apple pie. Homemade. But you can't tell it, but it's heavy. The reason why this pie is heavy as opposed to a cream filled or lemon meringue or banana cream or whatever kind of cream pie you think of is because of the substance. It's not the crust. It's not even this tin pan. It's the, the weight of the apples that give the pie weight, that make it um, full. So when you eat it, you get full. It's a fullness from within that manifests itself without. The Christ-centered life has Christ at its core. You have Christ as your center. You become Christ-centered as opposed to self-centered. A self-centered life is, is very vain very empty, very transient. It really doesn't have meaning. And what is the meaning of life? It's when your life has definition. What defines your life? Is it you or is it Christ? You know it's you if you spend all your time trying to please you. But the way we know that we have a meaningful life is when we spend our life constantly trying to bring glory and even pleasure to Christ. Friends, a Christ-centered life is a meaningful life. It is what Jesus came to give us. The full life, the perfect life, is a life centered and absorbed and saturated with Him. So I pray today, Lord, that we would have an apple-filled experience, 
a weight that is that is not given by our own desires, our own pleasures, but we stop and say, Lord, it's not about me. I want it to be about you. So, Lord, may it be about you in all that we do, and we pray this in your name. Amen. I think I'm going to go have you some of this pie. <laughs> so until next time, please remember that change is good. Thank you.